So I want to spread the news that the company Audio Damage, which is a pretty reputable company, has released over 30 of their legacy plugins for free. So the link will be in the description box. I definitely wanna hear from you guys. And if you need any help uh, installing these plugins, I have a video about how to install VST plugins. So you will find that also in the description box. Let's begin. So when you click on the link in the description box, uh, you will see uh, the free and legacy plugins right here. If I scroll down, you'll see there's a long list of free plugins for you. Uh, drum machines, diffusers, uh, multi effects, which I'll check that one out. Of course, uh, I didn't check out the ad additive synthesizer. I should just download that, but you know, uh, not enough time in this video. Uh, but what I want to do is this, since I've already downloaded a few, I was going to just point you to the description, but you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and just install it here. So I'm going to open up this right here, which is Discord 3. I will extract it to my desktop that is filthy as hell. Uh, the folder is over here. I'll click on it and then I will go to the installation. Uh, I know that Bitcoin, if you tr try to download that one, uh, it will have a different installer. It will tell you to install it and add the serial number. So uh, just make sure that you read all the documents with the plugins. And it's a pretty simple process. Just going through the installation. If you need a slower video, of course, it will be provided in the description box. But I will install this and then move forward. So I pulled up this track right here and it sounds like this. And I'm gonna pull up uh, one of the plugins right now cause I don't have anything on here. Uh, what, let's see, uh, let's route this to this track uh, just from using CR8, which just came out. It's like nine bucks in that right now. It's uh, really good sampler. I know uh, FL Studio has a sampler. So let's go ahead and pull up one of these. Uh, let's see if I can find it. Holy shit. So after struggling to find the plugins, I found this Core 3. All right, so this is the sound that I'm gonna play with right here. And this is how it sounds like with this Core 3 on there. So let's go ahead and check that out. Let me go ahead and uh, detach that so it stays in front. That sounds super lo-fi. I'm gonna adjust the mix about fifty fifty. Bring back the beat. Overall impressions of that is pretty good. I mean, to be fair, for this to be free, a lot of free plugins don't really be worth it. So people tend to do videos on them anyways. This is Ronin. Uh, what I want to do here is about the same thing. Just play with the beat and then take out the uh, different elements so we can get a better part, a better listen at this. So this is a multi-effect. So far, not, not bad, to be fair. Here with the beat. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on. Let's see, where is the the break beat? Let's go and uh, grab the break beat real quick. I'm gonna assign it to a channel. Since we have that now, I can just go over to here and then uh, slide it over. So you know. Here's some keys for you. Boom. Now we have it in there. And let's hear that solo. Let's go ahead and do that. All 
All right, so now I'm pulling up Tattoo, which is a BST synth or probably a drum machine. So um, I got to look for that. And that's what I do. You know, I got a long list of uh, plugins here. So here is Tattoo right now. I'm, I'm checking it out. And this is what I came up with. You can see it's just like a drum machine. And I, I have a thing about drum machines when they are imagined in the VST world. Some always have like some pretty cool transients. And uh, this right here does play on your keyboard. So if you have a MIDI keyboard or anything like that. <laughs> I'm just having a little fun. Uh, let's go over here. Let's change the kit to something else. So they're, they're pretty decent sounds. I know you can probably hear my keyboard more than you can hear the, the freaking drum machine. Uh, and uh, let's see, compressor. Oh, whoa, whoa, you can really slam these, uh, these drums. That's pretty cool. Uh, so moving on, let's check out something else. So I'm checking out Bitcom and I'm gonna play the example that I have it on. I'm gonna play without the Bitcom on. So let me go ahead and detach real quick, you know, the vibes and play. All right, now let's hear it with Bitcom on. Really quirk, real weird quirks about it. Mm. Uh, it seems to have like a nice control of lo-fi. I can see that it's more sequenced than anything. So I, I like it. I like it a lot. It doesn't necessarily work on a whole entire track because I tested it out beforehand. But yeah. Um, pretty much worth it, especially for free. Good job, audio damage. So, tell me how you feel about this video. Well, 30 plugins for free, amazing. 30 quality free plugins is astonishing. And I, I applaud uh, audio damage for them making this move. Uh, I think it's a great move and it shows that they want to support uh, a huge part of the music production community and Hats off to you, salute, and just let me know which one is your favorite free plugin.